Welcome back. In the last video we talked about how ethylene is a monomer which can combine with different monomers to form a polymer. What we're going to do in this video is talk about polyethylene again. Um, so it says identify polyethylene as an addition polymer and explain the meaning of this term. So two parts to this. We're going to make sure we know that ethylene can make an addition polymer but we also got to, we also have to be able to explain the term so explain the term addition polymer. So what I'll do first, I'll go over again what monomer meant. So mono meant one, comes from the Greek, means one. Mer means unit. So if it's just one unit, unit big or long, it's called a monomer. And poly means many. And mer means, still means unit. So a polymer is something that is many units long. So monomer, one unit long, polymer is many units long. And we mentioned earlier that ethylene was a monomer. So this here is ethylene. And ethylene is one unit long. So even though there's two carbons attached, this is just one unit together. Whereas if we attach them together, we call it something else. We call it polyethylene. Polyethylene. So what you can imagine is each of these here is a ethylene monomer and what we've done is we've literally attached them to each other and made a polymer. And now this is three ethylenes long, three monomers long, but some of the polyethylenes they can be hundreds of thousands of them long. So they're not usually three long, they're hundreds of thousands of monomers long. But now that we've established what a monomer and what a polymer was, and the ethylene can be a monomer and make a polyethylene as well, we're going to go over what the term addition polymer means. So this term addition polymer, addition polymer. And I'm going to start by going over what an example of what not an addition polymer is. So um, something that is not addition polymer, but that you'll go over very soon as well. And that's a condensation polymer. So you're going to have a look at this structure. This, again, don't be too confused. It looks like it's a crazy structure. And there's quite a few things in this structure, but I'm going to point to the things that we actually need to look at. So you're going to cover this very soon. It's called a beta-glucose. These are two monomers. Each of these is a monomer. Um, so a beta-glucose monomer here and another one over there. So each of these rings is a beta-glucose monomer, one here and one there. And what they're going to do is they're going to attach very soon. They're going to attach. And what they're going to do to attach is they're going to attach right here. So um, at this oxygen, they're going to attach right here. But in order to attach at this oxygen, what's actually going to happen is we're going to have water condensing, conden condensing out. So you can see we have an OH group here and a H group here. What's going to happen is we're going to remove this. We're going to lose this water group. So together, OH and H together makes H2O, which is water. But we're actually going to lose it. So we're going to remove it. So um, in order for these to bind, they have to get rid of this. So you can, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to bring it back in a second. But this will be gone. And now this carbon, which was attached to the OH group beforehand, is attached to this, high, this oxygen. And now it bonded and is called a polymer. So this is a polymer because it's more than one unit. Usually when it's many units long, it's called polymer. But um, you can imagine if we have many of these in a row, we'll call it polymer. And this one is actually called cellulose. So you will, it will come up in a not too distant future, cellulose. So but yeah, this, but they bonded. So you can say, well, they're an addition polymer, right? They're bonded. So they've added together. The reason why they're not an addition polymer is because that water molecule that I mentioned earlier, so that H2O, H2O that was there beforehand, that was lost. So even though they were, they, so this here, this H2O, it's gone. So we call that condensated out. So condensated out, which means we've, to make sure this, these two combine, the bond together, we've lost a water molecule. So this is not an addition polymer. And the reason why is because addition polymers is only to do when they attach together, when you have bonds happening, but nothing gets lost. So this is a condensation. A, this here is a condensation polymer, condensation polymer, because we have 
them combining the two monomers, but we've lost, we've condensated out water. So it's a condensation polymer, but it's not an addition polymer, even though they've added together. We've also lost something, so it's not purely addition polymer. So if we go back down to this over here, this is an addition polymer. This is the example we used in the last video. And you can imagine each of these, so we have that oxygen radical, which starts breaking that double bond of the ethylenes, and that starts a chain reaction, and that chain reaction uh, will make more and more that, that chain longer and longer. And here you have one monomer, here you have another monomer, and here you have that third monomer. And you can imagine this could be 100 thousands long. Right, so this was the polyethylene. This was polyethylene that we're talking about here. Polyethylene. And again, I'm going to go over uh, in how that gets produced in greater detail in a future video. But this is polyethylene. And this is an addition polymer. Polyethylene is an addition polymer because you have monomers being added. So that's one important thing being added together, but nothing lost. That's the other part. Nothing's lost. So not, nothing is lost. And remember, when we had two glucose molecules come together for that condensation reaction, it was not addition polymer because even though they added together, which is, you can figure, you can see that as adding together as an addition, we've also lost a water molecule. So it's a condensation polymer, not an addition polymer. Whereas in this case with polyethylene, we're just adding things together. There's nothing being lost, no water molecule, no nothing else. Nothing else is being lost. So it's just an addition polymer. So identify polyethylene as an, uh, as an addition polymer and explain the meaning of this term. Um, polyethylene is an addition polymer. It, ethylene itself is the monomer. If they join together, they make polyethylene. And it's addition polymer is something that when you have more, many more of those monomers bind together, making a chain. It becomes a addition polymer, especially if nothing is lost. So if only things are added, nothing is lost. So I hope that was useful.